Um, Alex, I have said this many times, but I will say it this last time. It is not possible for you to marry my daughter, Caroline, simply because you two are from the same family. Yes, you didn't know about it, but now you know. So I suggest that the affair should stop and you let yourselves go. Marriage between the two of you is a taboo and will not work. Do you understand me? I know both of you have come a long way. But you can still find and choose a wife meant for you. Be it. I have been talking to Carol too. This affair has to stop. Sugar. Baby girl also looking cool as ever. What's up, man? Hi. Hi. Man. Um, we're just passing by, you know. We just decided to say, uh, you know how it is now. So what's up? Well, thank you very much. I mean, that's very thoughtful of you guys. But how many times have I told you not to come here to look for me again? My father has warned me several times about your visitations. Hey, baby girl, relax, relax. We know that your parents are not around, huh? Just chill, man. Carol, relax now. Carol, relax. I just felt like seeing you, that's all. By the way, how come you don't reply my messages? You don't answer my calls? Hey, Mika, look, there is nothing to reply about your messages. I thought I've told you this before. I will never have anything to do with you or anyone else. At least not now. But, but you know I care. Hey, 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 hey. What is going on here? How many times have I warned you real fast to stop coming to my house to look for my daughter? How many times? Now get out of here before I call the police and accuse you of theft. Look at them. Stupid idiots. And you... Carol, come here. Out, you know, like a little quick on it, which everything's in the window. But I don't know, I just want to spend as little time as I can in here. There's something I'm trying to find.
How are you? Casey, how are you? I'm good. Man. Welcome back to Nigeria. Excuse me, excuse me. How long has Excuse me, excuse me. Well, uh, my visit at the moment is indefinite. We came for private business, but we'll be leaving soon at the start of the premiership. Which club will be signing for this season? Well, um, we have six um, offers from all over Europe, but my manager and I were considering England most. Is it true you are invited to Super Eagle and you refuse to honor their invitation? But well, madam, that's on a personal note. I will address that issue at the press conference we are having later tomorrow. How much is your new club offering you? The asking price is 20 million, but one thirty at the moment. Okay, um, me. May I just today. say something? Mm. We have a press conference at the Sheraton Conference Hall, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please be punctual, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I must go right now. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Can I help you? Well, I, I see you don't recognize me anymore, sir. It's me, Kelechi. Casey! Is that you? It's me. Papa Karo, don't you remember Ara Kelechi anymore? Chief James's son that used to come here. Uh... Eh? Once in a while, 
But I never thought he was still serious about the affair because I learned he had gotten married to one white lady like that. Okay. Yeah. So suddenly, he shows up and wants to get married to me. Interesting. What about the white woman? Well, he says it was all a lie. You know, he wants us to wed by month end. What? End of the month? Month end? Man, that's so close. <laughs> that's really close. <laughs> well, Holly Boy says he wants a fast and quick, quiet, traditional wedding. Mm. You know what? what? He's coming this afternoon because he's going to take us all out for lunch. I told you about you now, man. Hey, your friend, I feel like that. Let's give me some. Wait, what do you mean by that? Have you <laughs> met or you knew him before now? <laughs> How come you're not answering that? You did hear that loud? <laughs> Listen, if I met Carol, Lucy was the older woman in my life. I used to dream about her in the day, fantasize about her, then I'd go home to start the nightmare. I'll go to her house in the morning. I'll wait for her till night. And then some guys with rich parents will come out of the blues and just take her out. Then pour me, I'll go home, cry my eyes out, and the next morning, first in the morning, 8 o'clock, I ride back into that house. <laughs> no, <laughs> friend! I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? Oh, God! Wait, 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 listen up. Um, so, what actually happened? I mean, finally, did you officially ask her? I don't believe this. <laughs> you want to answer that? <laughs> Are you sure you want me to say that, bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't. This, look, babe, I didn't ask you out. I was groveling on all fours, <laughs> begging you. I didn't want to be your handyman. Can I hey. carry your hand? Back? She was sending me around like a baby brother. Oh, I, I willingly go. This is really getting interesting. You never told me about it. Well, well, the most important thing is that I'm happy for the two of you. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. He's marrying my friend now. And he's back in the family. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so what happened after everything? What? Uh, you don't want to know, Viv. Trust me. You don't want to know. You want to know, right? Trust me. No one crosses this line. The baby or me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you're still in the family. Yes. <laughs> yeah, with I'm a professional you. butcher, right? Oh, no, no, no. Who's hurting you? No, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. She's not a butcher. She's a professional Well, Dad, I just came to tell you that um, I've concluded plans as regards the arrangement for my traditional wedding. And then I just need you to fix a date to come proceed to Carol's village for the final rite. That is fast. And I was wondering that the time is so short and you won't be able to meet up with arrangements. It is money that actually makes things happen fast. My own concern is that I don't know why Kelechi has decided to make this thing a small affair. I would have preferred a grand occasion so that those who say that there's no more money in my family will say it. After all, you are my son. I'm one of the best footballers in the whole world. Well, Dad, you have a point. But the fact remains that I'm battling with time. The consequences was making me do this. 
You see, I need something small and manageable I can get over with really fast. So I can return to England to sign my deal and start the premiership. But if it's of any consolence, um, the white wedding is coming up in Europe, and then we can make it as loud and as um, grand as possible. <laughs> I think I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like that one, but, yeah. So um, I, I'm about to charter flights to bring in your people, mm -hmm. the, Ozos, the chiefs, and those of our family to come down for this one at least. For that is my son talking. We only have to fix it. Okay. Okay. You know, I can get back to Carol's people. It's all right. So, wait. Um, are you sure you'll be able to send out all the invitation cards before the end of this month? Sure, why not? I mean, everybody that is supposed to be at the traditional marriage have already got to their eyes. Small thing, you know. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know, yesterday, Casey came up with something different. I mean, another surprise. So, what is it this time? He said, the moment we are finished with our traditional marriage, I will be going with him to England. What? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you saying you will be flying to England? Oh, no, I will be crawling to England. You <laughs> see? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Carol just said she'll be traveling to England immediately she's through our traditional marriage. Jeez. Aren't you lucky? Getting married to a footballer, those guys, they make all the money out there, you know. I mean, wait, seriously now, I mean, tell us, how do you feel about all this, I mean, your new status, um, getting married to a footballer, I mean, how does it feel yes. like? Are you not excited? You're not showing it. You know, Carol, if I were you, I would jump over the moon. <laughs> girls, 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 see, I'm really excited, really. I'm sighted, all right? But you really don't expect me to jump over the moon, do you? Oh, I, I do. do. I do go for that one. <laughs> okay. See, I, will, I had always known that the moment I graduate, I will definitely get married to a man. If not to him, then some other man. So what are you feeling like? <laughs> Meaning? You know, before this time now, guys had already started coming to, you know, begging for my hand. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> Where you believe in. Mm -hmm. So that is why I will call for the Omuko. <laughs> the nursing of the coming babies. <laughs> oh, it's you alone that I have. Mm. <sighs> uh, my son, we have no problem. We are also almost through with arrangement for the traditional wedding. In fact, I will be traveling to the village by the weekend. Well, um, in that case, sir, I don't think um, the money I gave you will be enough. I think I, I have um, 100,000 here. That should suffice to back up what you've got already. You see, I want this woman to go without hitches. You have already given us enough money, and we don't have a problem with money. So yeah, I hope that that will be enough. Thank you very much, my son. Thank you, my son. This marriage has already been blessed. You mean to that? Hey. <laughs> Definitely, man. I, I really must run along now. I'm afraid I have a promise to catch up with you. Yeah. All right, Carol, hey. I'll just you to the car. Mm. So, have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, so. I'll take you now. Thank you. Okay, I'll take you. Thank you. Carol, mom. Bye, mom. Bye, son. So happy things are working out finally. When I was in Holland, all I thought about was football, nothing else. It was um, socially miserable. And I kept praying to God nobody would marry you. <laughs> Apparently, God answered my prayers. 
because now that I'm moving to Manchester, I, don't, I can't wait for you to come home. Uh, well, my expectations were shattered, you know. When I heard you had gotten married to one white woman, <laughs> people started laughing at me, you know. So I got involved with someone else and almost married him. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't. No, I did it. That's a saving grace. <laughs> Come here. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Why she's going to the NYC secretariat? The secretariat? Um, actually, we're heading that direction now. Wow! Lucky you go. So you join them, right? Yeah. I'll go with them. Uh, we'll see you later in the day in my house. Oh, no, that will be possible. You see, I'd like to see Casey the moment I'm back from the secretariat. Don't worry, girl, I'll call you on the phone. Alright? Alright, then. Bebe. Take care. Bye. Too late. It's Carol that I'm waiting for. I thought she came back with you. No, I, that's a problem. We had a day today. I waited for her through the day. Yeah. She didn't turn up. She didn't even call me. So I got worried and came out here to see what happened. But she has not come back with you now. Yes. Good evening, Dad. Yes. Right here. Is she back yet? She hasn't come back yet. No. That's what Casey is just telling me now, that he waited for her in his house, but she didn't turn up. I think it was one of those friends of hers that came for her and that they went out together. What was that her name again? Monica. Yes. I had her tell Monica that she was coming to your place. My point exactly, she didn't come to my place. I waited at home all through the day. I came out here to find out why she behaved like that. Mm. And anyway, let's don't panic here. I'm sure there's something you know explicable happened. I'm, I'll run along now. It's quite, it's quite late. I'll stop by Monica's place and see if she's there. Okay, if she's there, I'll take her home and bring her back tomorrow morning. It's quite late. But if we miss each other along the way, please tell her to call me when she gets home. Okay, I'll do so. After go to bed, it's really big. Okay, good night. Okay, good night, guys. Yeah. Let's go. 
come back any time from now. Down. I know uh, there's an urgency here, I'm, so, I'm afraid I can't. Look, I'm really sorry about you know you, I know it's quite late. So But it's Carol. You know, um, we had a date at home today and I waited all through the day, she didn't turn up. I just stopped by her parents' place. They're looking for her too. As a matter of fact, the mother was outside, sitting outside and looking for her. But the dad said um, she went up with you earlier, so I, I came by here to see if she was. Yes, actually, I came. We went out together, but um, we parted ways on the way because uh, we ran into a friend who gave me a ride to the secretary, and I was going to the office. Mm, okay, and then um, she called me earlier in the day to say she was going to see you, but since then I've not heard from her. Oh, well, that's the point. I waited for all through the day. She didn't turn up. Well, um, I'm sure we're just getting worried over nothing, okay? I know how maybe she ran into somebody or something. Yeah. Um, sure. I'll be on my way now. Okay. Um, hey, um, Casey, I told Carol I was going to help her make your native soup. That one you used to love so much before you travel. Mm, that's very kind of you. Uh, when it's ready, just buzz me and I'll jump in here and do <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Night night. Sweet, night. sweet. Night. Night. Oh. Rewind what? Rewind now. Oh, please, I'll take it. I beg, I beg, I beg. Just wait. Did you check in her room? She did not come back last night. I have been checking. She did not come home at all last night. I was awake half of the night. Makaru, what do you think? I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I am also very worried. In spite of our stubbornness, Carol has never slept out like this before. Hmm? Not even now that she's getting married. Yes, come right in. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, my daughter. Mother said that she come and call Auntie Carol. Really? Yes, ma'am. He says she should come. Tell him that we are still expecting her return. That any time she comes back, she will surely come to him. All right, ma'am. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye, my She went out with Monica yesterday. Moni! Moni, please come! I'm coming! Uh -uh, good morning, ma. Good morning, my daughter. How are you? I'm very fine, ma. You're welcome. Thank you. She's here because of Carol. Mm -hmm. She said she didn't come home since yesterday and that you went out with her. Uh, yes, I did. But um, I left her on the way. You know, I was going to my office where she was living for NYSE camp. 
You mean she's not back yet? She didn't at all. We have not seen her since yesterday. She's so serious. My lord, let me just try her on my phone, okay? Okay, my lord. She should be able to pick up her phone. You see, her phone is switched off. This is exactly what happened when Casey tried to get her on her phone last night. We were told that she switched it off. Kara has never slept out. Except it is unavoidable. And even at that, she normally informs us. Huh? It's okay. Don't worry, let me try her again, please. Let's walk busy. Oh. What kind of... <laughs> Let me start going back home. Probably she might be at home by now. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure she'll be waiting for you at home, okay? Just take it easy, man, okay? Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Just get your mind back first, okay? Hey, okay. guys. Come to my daughter. Bye, bye. I will try home on the line. Okay? Bye, bye, man. with when I was in Nigeria, nothing. I, I, I don't understand this. She, she didn't even call me. What kind of thing is this? This, this is serious. It's not like Carol. She wouldn't do a thing like that. What kind of thing is Keep this? Keep trying that now. I'm trying. What kind of thing is Maybe this? I should go to her house and check Carol. But you were here. I just called her parents home. She's not back. They're worried too. No, oh, it's all right, okay? I believe she wasn't come back home. Have you had anything today? I've been eating since morning, but I'm not hungry. I can't even walk up an appetite. Oh, come on, don't tell me you won't eat anything if you don't see that. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm about to face one of the biggest embarrassments of my life. The traditional wedding is around the corner. Now, she's been making all the contacts. She's spearheaded everything. She knows all the people we're supposed to see. I'm at a loss here. I don't know what to do. Meanwhile, we'll have to get you something to eat. Look, I'm not hungry, okay? Okay, so you have to eat something. You won't starve. Darling, let's go fix him something to eat first. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry to call you again. Hello? Um, it's, it's me, Casey. Um, uh, is, she, is she in your house now? No, no, there's nothing wrong. It's just that uh, I'll call you back. I'm sorry, I thought she was. Marakaro, I don't like this at all. I don't like it. If my hunches are right, this situation is about to turn unpleasant. It's about 24 hours since she left here without a dress. We should notify the police. Yes, come right in. Come in. Please sit down. No. She's not yet back. And I'm beginning to feel quite uncomfortable about the whole thing. I am thinking of going to the police to make a report. 
It's almost 24 hours now. I think that's the right thing to do. But let, let's go to the police, tender formal report. At least the police will know how to take it off from there. Um, Daddy, let me say something. Before we go to the police station, I think we should find out the last person she was seen with. You know, even when we get to the station, they'll ask us who was the last person she was seen with, and we don't have that. That's good. That's good. And uh, who is this last person? Mm, Monica should know. She said there was someone who gave her a ride. Some friend. I don't know. I'll call her, and then I'll find that out. Then I'll get back to Casey. If we're not making any headway, maybe we'll go to the station. Okay. All right. That sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. It's logical. Thank you, my daughter, for the advice. It's all right, Mama. Well, in that case, um, why don't we all go home? It's rather getting late. I, I'll, I'll give you a... You can grab with me, okay? I'll, I'll give you a ride and uh, I'll come home. Okay. okay we'll all come back. All right. Let me... Let me see you. My daughter. It's okay. But as for that Monica, I don't trust her. I'm sorry to say this. Let's go outside and join them. Carol, she's causing me excessive worries. I mean, she's stolen the wedding plans and I have limited time to stay in this country. Don't worry, okay? She'll be back. Trust me. I hope so. Um, I'm actually on my way to my office and uh, someone gave me this later for you. You said it's from uh, Carol. From Carol? Yeah. So, I'm glad I rushed to your office and I'll see you. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Dear friend, you almost worried about the whereabouts of Caroline. I advise you to forget about marrying her and find someone else. You will never see her again, and you'll be wasting your money calling the police because she's mine. And she has come back to me. In due course, you hear from Carol. Signed your friend. It's crazy. You know, this sounds like kidnapping to me. Well, you echo my sentiments. I think we should go straight to the police. Lucy, I think your friend Monica has some questions to answer when we get to the police. <laughs> She's the same person that came here and took her away. She was the last to be seen with her. And then she's the same person that brought the letter. The coincidence, there weren't too many. I think she has some questions to answer. How? I mean, how can I be a suspect for kidnapping? And why would I kidnap my own friend? Why? Nobody said you kidnapped anybody. They just want to ask you one or two questions. First, you were the last to be seen with her. 
And then you brought the letter to Casey. That's just the reason why they want to see you. Questions? Hey, you know everything. I mean, you understand everything. Why would I be the only person that wants to ask questions? Why? I don't know. Monica, calm down. All she said is that they want to ask you questions. Fine. Calm. I'm fine. Officer, that's her. Our oh, miss. We would like to invite you to our station concerning the missing of uh, one Miss Carolyn Duca. Monica, if you know my daughter's whereabouts, please tell us. You are aware that her wedding is just by the corner. What advice she has done to you, please forgive her. Please. Papa, you should have asked me this question first before going to the police. But to answer your question, Carol did nothing to me, and I know nothing about her whereabouts. Let's go. It's almost midnight. The night just stay night. Tomorrow I'll get a drive to drop you. I think you should stay, my daughter. <laughs> it is too late and dangerous out there for you to go. I appreciate your concern for your friend and Casey. I'm 
I know the other force is making you uncomfortable, but that's not the intent here. But I'll, I'll, be, I'll be more comfortable if somebody that were kind of close to Carol stayed in this house. I have over 10 guests to mark and get one ready for you. It's all right, um, I'll stay, but I don't want to sleep in the guest room. I'd rather sleep with Ify if you don't mind. No, no, that's no bother. Ify! Ify! Yes, brother. Could you come out a minute, please? Yeah, uh, could you tidy up your room? Okay, Lucy will be spending time with you. Okay. Just let's go. Thank you. Look, the editor comes up with all the Just go up with you. Honey dear, I don't know how best to break this news to you without offending you. But please take heart. The truth of the matter is that all the time you were talking about marriage, my mind has not been there because I'm in love with someone else as you can see. From the pictures, I had to go away because I know my parents will not approve of my decisions. Find yourself someone else to marry. I wish you luck. Your Carol. What is this? How could she do this to you? I hope there's no problem. I had the banging on the door. Carol's girl. Is this not Carol? The girl you want to marry? Who is the man with her? I knew it. I knew it. I knew that Carol was going to end up foolishly like this. Now look at this grace she has brought to the family. Look at it. Was it not here that I was warning her about this young man called Alex and she walked out on me? Was it not here? Now look at it. Look at it! I knew it. Oh, what a disgrace. <sighs> Lucy, what about Casey? Mommy, he's at home. So heartbroken. Oh! I can't believe Carol could do a thing like this. I knew she was still in love with Alex. But this... God, Women. I can't believe it. <laughs> Women. It is only a fool that will trust them. And you! only you had listened to me and talked to your daughter, this wouldn't have happened. Nonsense. <laughs> She's not my daughter. Not his anymore. <laughs>
heart is so beautiful. And I wish you can see my heart. So you know just how much I love you. Casey, I know how much you love me. And I know you've tried so hard to show it. It feels so good to be loved and cherished. No matter how long it takes, I will wait for you. Put aside every other man. This heart of mine belongs to you alone. It pains me like you are not eating or drinking or cheerful. Rise up and put Carol behind you. You showed her love, but her heart is somewhere else. Find another woman who loves you. And there are many of them out there. It is even better that it happened now than when you are already married. Will you be able to cope with the scandal? Rise! Brighten up! Manager, talk to him. No, I, I, don't, I don't understand this kind of a thing. Yes, I'm Please him. talk no to him. Kessie? No what is the matter? Tell me, talk to me, any problem? I'm happy you got over everything so quickly. Well, I know without scars. What was I to do? I had to carry on with my life. But I really, really cared about her. Anyway, you see, I have a short stay to stay in this country and I don't want you to be tainted by unhappiness and all that. I just want to get back to how I move to England and sign my contract. That's all. But it's you that I'm worried about. You know, you've been there for me from day one up until now and I don't know how I would have carried on without you. I'm a special person, you know that. And I just want to tell you that I respect you very much and appreciate your friendship. It's okay, I appreciate it too. Let me ask you a question. If she ever comes back and asks you to forgive her, will you? Yes. I forgive her because I love her. I don't think I can marry her anymore. You see, love is not even enough to get married for you. It's not. It runs deeper than that. Marriage is a lifelong commitment. And I'm seeing things that are symbolic that doesn't make her my woman, wife material. Okay, so that's the way it is. It's okay. I understand. I appreciate everything and then um, I must say I like it too. It's your fault. It's your fault. I'm 
sorry, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. Expensive this stuff is in Europe. There's a small fortune here. I've always wanted to make some, but no, I wasn't ready to go see mom to, to start. Thank you, I got it for you. It's cheaper down here. It's still expensive, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. And my favorite colors, too. How did you figure that out? I just guessed. Yeah, this is the young guest. Listen, I, I need to talk to you. See the hands of fate playing this game with us. Maybe I wasn't meant to be with Carol after all. Maybe I was meant to be with you. I don't think so. I know so. Believe me, I. I don't want to lose you. I want you to come to England with me. I want you to come to be my wife. No, Casey. It's. What would people say? Have you forgotten Carol is my friend? Look, I'm beyond thinking what people think. It's, it's, I don't really care, my own man. Besides, Carol left me, I didn't leave Carol. Now I want to carry on my life, that doesn't make me a bad person. And you've always been there for me, caring for me, taking care of me. That's what love is all about. Please be my wife. Please. Okay, see. <laughs> <laughs> What exactly is going on? Talk to me now. Aren't you going to tell me what's going on? Mm. When did you get back from the station? Mm. Did you get back from the station? 
this afternoon. No, I'm sorry we didn't know I would have come get you. Well, anyhow, I um, I still feel we owe you uh, some kind of apology. At least for not coming to see you at the station. And especially when we found out you weren't involved in the kidnapping. Thank you. I'm alright, I guess I'm fine. Did you say there was no kidnap? Is she back then? Yeah, um, she's not really back, but something happened, you see. Don't and worry, darling. I'll, I'll explain everything to her later, okay? Darling! I, uh, I'm uh, freedom late for an appointment. I have to run along now, right? I am. Um, call me sometime. Okay, if there's anything I can do to alienate what you've gone through, I'll be happy to help. Okay? I'm really sorry. Could you explain to me what is happening here? Can you tell me, girlfriend, what in God's name is going on here? I just said that I'm sorry. I knew I was supposed to come and see you at the station, but a lot happened. I couldn't... Is that why you went about giving everybody the impression that I led Carol to her kidnappers and in fact, I brought the letters from her kidnappers to the house? Is that... Mister, why didn't you tell them the truth? I mean, why turn the whole suspicions to me? You're walked up. I do not expect less, considering what you've gone through. Don't patronize me! Don't even try it! You know what this whole thing is all about, Lucy? You know it! Now the chips are down. You exonerated yourself, and you turned me when you cut the corporate, isn't it? Fine. Beautiful. Cool by me. And what's this new fan love with Casey? Your girlfriend's fiancé? What are you playing at, Lucy? What are you playing at? Moni, you are walked up. Please, when you've calmed down, we will talk. I'll explain things to you. All right? It's fine. You are talking to it's me okay. now! It's okay. I said I'm your sister! Why are you lying to me? She said she'll talk to you later. Jeez. Calm down. Hey. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Dad, we're here. Oh. Welcome, my daughter. How is everything? I'm fine, thanks. Daddy? Fine. Mommy? Fine. Mm. I can see you are beaming with smile. <laughs> <laughs> Grace! Grace, oh! Yes? Please come over here. They are here already. Ah! Baby. Yes, Mom. <laughs> You are welcome, our wife. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Casey, how are you? I'm fine, <sighs> All right. Let me go and get both of you something to eat. Mm -hmm. All right, ma. Kitchen practical time. Sit down, honey. <sighs> well, um, Dad, I um, I wanted to tell you that I've been to see the parents. They were very nice. They op they welcomed me with open arms, and I was so happy. So uh, I just wanted to liaison with them and um, let's fix a proper date for the traditional wedding. And then you know how very limited time to spend here. I will discuss that matter with your mother. And I'm sure there will be no problem. Everything will seem smoothly. <laughs> well, our son Kilichi told us that he will bring his intended wife to show us. <laughs> now we have seen you. We can only work on you. Yes. It is not our duty to choose a wife for our son. So we welcome you wholeheartedly. Thank you very much. Sir. What is so fascinating about these photographs of sin? If you don't have anything better to do, come inside and make some food for me. Welcome to There is something suspicious about these photographs. I have been looking at them since. 
What is it? Look at this. Look at it very well. Caro seems to be in pain if you watch her expressions very well. You know her, Papa Caro. You know her, if she does anything, she does with so much passion. If she were to be happy with this man, she would have been smiling in this picture. Well, I think you are right. But it is with this same Alex of a man that I've been warning her about. Look, Mama Caro, as far as I'm concerned, she has brought disgrace to this house. And I do not want to listen to anything again about her in this house. Papa Caro, please, can we go to Alex's house? Alex's house? Yes. What for? It will help us clear so many things. Alex, I took my time and uh, explained to you that what you were doing with my daughter would come to nothing. Because marriage between both of you is impossible. Please, let my daughter go. I don't understand what you're talking about. Alex, we know that our daughter is here with you. Please let her go so that at least she can... Wait a minute, wait a minute. You think Caro is here? Of course, of course, yes. Oh, you two think that Caro is here? Yes, Alex. All right, hang on. Honey? Honey? Yeah, I'm coming. Please come. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You see, when you told me that. It will be impossible to marry Cairo, based on the reasons you gave me. I thought about it, and I saw that it was true. So, I found myself someone else. Why should I keep Cairo here, for Christ's sake? Why? Run along. Mm. Uh, what? I'm sorry, Alex. No, 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 no problem. Very sorry. It's okay. Amaka, Ben, where is she? Nay, I might not know. Oh, mama. Hey. I'm good, are you? Alright. I've been meaning to see you. Really? And I've been wanting to see you too. So can we talk? Let's talk. Come in, come in. Is it Monica? Eh? Listen, I, I need money. I need money to keep her. Emeka, I, I am out of this deal. Just count me out, okay? Why? Why? I thought we said we, 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 we wanted to embarrass Carol and, and spoil her wedding plans. Uh, yeah. Lucy has capitalized on that and she has used us all. Imagine she has gone to marry the footballer. Just last weekend, she did her traditional wedding with the footballer. Oh, yes. And last night, they had their after wedding party. As you're looking at me, I'm going to spill the whole beans. So if you know what is right, just do it. I am out of that deal. Release the poor girl. I am out of this deal. Is it so you want to talk about? Listen, exactly what is going on here? 
What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, fine. Just yesterday, I overheard outsiders saying that you traveled home last weekend to have your traditional wedding with Casey. And I see if that is not enough. Just last night, both of you had a sent for a party. Now, what in God's name is going on here? What you just said is what has been going on. Now, can I have my rest? So you didn't want to tell me because you knew I wouldn't support it, isn't it? I did not want to tell you because I knew you were not going to support it. All right? And I know that you're jealous. Oh, is it my fault for crying out loud? That Carol messed up and Casey asked me to marry him? Is it my fault? But Lucy, you know that is not the initial plan, is it? What plan are you talking about? Oh. Have you forgotten that Casey fell in love with me first? And so if Carol messed up, it was just natural that he would come back to me. Okay, now that you know that we are married, and that we'll soon be going back to England, I'm giving you just four days to pack your things out of this house, okay? Oh. Ever since I started harboring you since your youth service, you have been so ungrateful. And in fact, you have been a clog in the wheel of my progress. So please, that is not the issue. What is the issue? The issue here, girlfriend, is that nobody... I repeat, nobody takes me for a ride and goes away free. Listen to me. You know what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. I will walk straight back to Casey and I will spill the bags. That plan of yours will not work. You will make a very, very big mistake. Woody, it hasn't come to that. Okay? Listen to me. All right, Jeff. What is the matter? Hi, Tessie. Hi, Lucy. I have been asking two of you, and you've been dodging it. For Christ's sake, I heard you screaming from outside. What exactly is going on here? <coughs> um, Tessie, um, if you don't mind, okay? Would you please excuse the both of us, and I will see you later, okay? Please. I will tell Emeka to go and release Carol. Then we will know who is going to fly to England with Casey. Let's watch. Jenny, it hasn't, it hasn't come to that. Watch me. Just watch me.
you and your father punctured my ego. Imagine calling a maker, me, a riffraff. Simply because if any man not good enough for you. Well, let's see how the football of my is now. Let's see. Oh, lest I forget. I'm not alone, you know. Yeah. Your friends too are not happy with your marriage. They're not. And that is why I was invited so that we could work our modalities and scuttle the marriage. Mecca, you're lying. You're lying and you know it. My friends could never do such a thing. I mean, my friends are all happy for me. You're lying. You are a big fool. And that is why these things are happening to you. A big fool, that's what you are. Which, which of my friends? Which of my friends? She will soon be here. wanted your hand in marriage. Are you the only girl here? Well, they can have you. Okay? But listen, I don't want you to come near my casing. I will not let you take my darling, alright? I will also want to get married to a footballer and go to England. You knew he was in love with me before he met you. I'm sure he told you that. <sighs> okay. You see, if that's what you wanted, it's okay. Go ahead and have Casey. You could have him. But, listen, please. Listen, please get me out of here. Please, I beg of you. No, my dear. You will remain here. Okay? You will be here until I'm through with my plans. Alright? Say, so can do this to me, please. Misguided oh, trust. Misplaced trust. Misused trust. Misleading trust. We make mistakes. Sometime in our lives. If only we know. Yeah. You'll be paying me plenty money, you know. How am I supposed to pay you plenty money? You are in need to revenge her father's insult to you. And her refusal to go out with you, so how am I supposed to feed the bill? Because you've used me to tarnish her image and kept her away from my the footballer, so you'll pay. Lucy, you are smart. But Emeka is smarter. Now listen up. By tomorrow evening, I need 500,000 naira, which is half a million from you. Else, I'll only release her, but take her to Casey. I promise. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Are you out of your mind? Don't you ever say that again. Oh. Don't you ever say it again. You slapped me? Yes, I did. Now, listen up, Lucy. Listen up, real good. If you're thinking of where to get the money, why not ask the footballer husband? After all, he hands hard currencies. By tomorrow, if I don't get my money, I'll reveal the secret. And I'm serious about it. that no matter how bad you think Carol is, she would never do such a thing. God forbid, not my Carol. I told you that there is something about those photographs. It means that she took those photographs under duress. Or maybe she took them a very long time ago. <laughs> and all the while we have been thinking that Monica is behind all this. God. 
Look at how Lucy deceived all of us. Pakaro, we must go immediately to the police to report this case. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It is worth investigating. My men will go and pick up this Monica for questioning. But are you sure of all you said you had this girl say? I am quite sure of everything I heard. Monica and Lucy are my close friends. And they've been quarreling about this matter for quite some time now. Sir, I am very sure. In fact, I am extremely sure of everything I heard. Okay. I will send my men to pick her up. Based on her statement, we will go and pick up this Lucy and the man, Emeka. Thank you very much. Inspector. Here early in the day. Yes, I was. I'm afraid you will have to come with us to the station once more. Excuse me. Are you arresting me? Well, I, I, I reported to the station. I, 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 I I'm sorry. The There's been an implication. Please. Mm -hmm. I have evidence to invite you to the station for the mother of the of the disease. I, I, I reported to the station. I thanked the Don't worry, Madam. We'll just answer some questions to come back. I, I, I reported at the station. I thanked the everything. I don't know anything about it. So. Some extended family problem. Land matter. Baby, but 500,000. What's on? Quite a sum here. Yeah, I know. E even if I can't get everything, half of it will do. Why do people fly? 
us. Are you going to see a light there? Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, pick up the phone. And you gonna take that? And you gonna wear that? Hello. Who specially wants me to call her? Don't call her. Yeah. Call me in his presence, please. I don't care whose presence I call you, I shall continue to call you whenever I want to. Now, listen, listen. I have found out all about your auntie. And if I don't get my money tonight, I shall pay you a visit tomorrow. No, don't do that. I'm still trying to get the money from you, yeah? And hey, please, I'm still... Hello? Hello? I don't understand, Emeka. From the beginning, I thought this was a joke, but it's getting too far, Emeka. It's getting too far. Ah, uh, Chumso, are you see nothing? Emeka, you know what I mean. Now, this girl has done nothing to us. Let's let her go. Let ah. her go. Oh, what, what are you talking about now? What's all this now? Ah, uh -uh. What do I put all our efforts now? Emeka. All our efforts without wasted. Emeka. In that case, I'm cooking. Count me out of this. Bye. I'm leaving. Chumso, tell me you're leaving, Emeka. No. Looking for Auntie Lucy. The security man said I should inform you. What business you have with policemen? I don't know. If you go get them, at least uh, let's see what this is all about. Monica was more than in that house yesterday. We just want to find out one or two things from her. Monica? No. Mommy, who? Oh, are you serious? What are you talking about? Mommy, we just saw money. Oh, oh my god. 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 Did you go to your house? I went there this morning. And you didn't see anybody? You both in and out? Nobody saw you? I didn't see a soul. I just went to pick my bags. She had called me earlier in the day to say, um, one of her friends, what's her name? 
Tessie threatened to deal with her. And since then, I'm annoyed from her. Look, look, Officer, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, okay? My wife is upset right now and we need to be left alone. We understand, sir. I actually want to avoid the situation of inviting her to the station. That's why I'm going to... Um, just one more. Uh, is this Monica's hand? Oh, my God. Oh, God, oh, it's okay. Oh, 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 Why did you kill her? Why? I didn't kill her. She was my friend. Why should I kill her? Please, please, please tell them to stop hitting me. I, I can't kill my own friend. Where is your name, Sir, this note was found in the disease pocket. In it, she was telling her friend to help her talk to you, Tess. Because you said you would deal with her. It's not true. It's, it's, it's not true. It's not true. Let, let me have a look at the right thing. Sir, this, this is not Molly's handwriting. Like, I, I know her handwriting. She, she didn't write this. Shut, <laughs> shut up. Her friend Lucy identified this as her handwriting. You think you are clever? All we want to know is why you killed her or where are you keeping her? Where is she? If I you think you are. Then where are you keeping her? Wait, why would I kill my own friend? I swear to God, I think you are, sir. Then where did you keep her? Uh, I don't know anything about her then. I swear. I think you are. Carol, I have business to attend to. Pray that it works, you know. As soon as I come back, you go home. Okay? Another night. Oh, definitely I will. Um, sorry, see, my wife is not feeling fine. Right now, she's sleeping, right? No, no, no. I'll look out. No, this is your wife, no, baby. I need no one to stop us. Oh, huh? but me, I won't clean Nana. You don't say today, I'm starting here, and I don't want one for Sunday. So, go come and make I clean now. But it's not, she said, no one to stop us.
What are you doing here? I'm here to see Casey and tell him everything. You can't be serious. Oh, really? Now listen up, Lucy. If they don't allow me in, I'll call him on phone. Yeah, surprise, eh? I just got his number. Listen. Just take it easy, okay? Listen, see, it has not come to See, they don't talk about it. I said I'm collecting the See, I said I'm collecting the money. There's nothing to talk about. You understand? See, I'm giving you two minutes to make up your mind. Two minutes. He has not come to that for crying out loud. Oh, just give me some time and we'll go to my bank, okay? Buy the tomatoes and the yam and the fish, okay? Just stand here and wait for me. I'll come back and pick you. Let me just drop my cousin up. Now, what's all this I'm now? What's the problem friend. now? I'm not wasting your time. Didn't you see the car jack and then, stuff? Then what's the, pro what's the problem? How will I know? Do you know anything about cars? Oh. All right, let me get the... Let me just put the sea cushion so that they won't turn.
What do we do? Let's take him to the hospital. No, no. Nah. People cannot believe our story. Let's take him to the police and lodge a report there first. Police, let's take him there first, please. I'm sorry, please. Where are we right now? This is a town. A quiet town? Yes. Where precisely are you going to? See, I, I'm going to Lagos. Okay. Is there any way you can get me a taxi? Yeah. Don't no. worry, I'll stop a taxi for you. Please, please, sorry, please, please. Okay. Your chauffeur to pick me up. Yeah, I'm coming with my wife. You should see her, she's a looker, man. So, see, um, what did um, United have uh, been for me? What do you mean? Fair, but not good enough. But I'm sure you're going for the kill, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, yes, yeah. you are. I'm so happy we're leaving Nigeria today for England. <laughs> so you intend to take the whole country with you? No, um, my personal effects, my clothing. Come here, dear. Apparently, you've not absorbed this fact yet. You see, you're married to the most successful footballer in Africa. You know that? No, you don't. You know what that means? That means I can afford to take you to any boutique in Paris and shop. They usually close on the shop when I walk in, you see. It also means shopping sprees every weekend to Paris. You don't need this stuff. You'll find out that they're just boarding. So send them back to their house and let your kid sisters wear them. Okay? Trust me. I'm talking. You see what I mean when we get there? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. And Sakaru is outside waiting to see you. For what? I think if she see you and hear from her. And give me a good reason why she listened to that woman after what she did to me. Let's go first. Let's go. You hear from her, please. Let's go now, please. said a lot of things about me, so we don't get married. All I'm asking for is for you to just listen to me. Can we go in? What is she doing here? Has she come to ask you for forgiveness after everything she's done? Can you please send her out? Don't let everything we've suffered to work together. Don't let it go down the drain. Please send her out. Please send her it's out. It's okay, Pam. I don't want you near me nor my family anymore. Okay? 
get out of here. Moses, see this lady to the door. Make sure she never gets back. Please leave my home. Let's go. I never meant to hurt you, God knows. I only thought I could pick some money in the deal. That's why I got myself involved, please. Emeka, my father said it. That you're nothing but a no good riffraff. That's what you are. Now look at you. Fool. I will get back to you. Get out of my way. Officer, that's the lady. Oh! Madam Lucy, we're back again. You are under arrest on three cow charges on more than one Miss Monica, kidnapping, and above all, lying to mislead the police. Yes, sir, let's go. Absolutely, you I don't believe Officer, are you sure? We have a living proof, sir. Yes. See, officer, do your work now. Pick this lady now. She's my partner. Arrest this lady. Don't believe them, it's a lie. This is a conspiracy of some sort. No, Casey, I'm not like that. No, Casey, please don't believe them. Casey, don't believe them. Please don't believe them. Everything I did for you. No, it's not true. This is an iffy, iffy. I'm not like that, iffy. No, don't believe them. No, 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 Casey, please don't. Oh, God, please don't do this to me. Don't let them take me away from here. Don't believe anything they're saying. I must admit this. How I. Good evening, my son. Just sit down. You're welcome. Would you want something to drink? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine, son. I'm good. Look, um, Daddy, and I, I know I really offended you by making um, snappy judgments. I, I want to apologize. I, I was quite ignorant of this whole thing, but all the same, I I feel quite responsible, and I, I, I thought it was in order that I come here and apologize. I'm really sorry. Well, I accept your apologies. You see, what happened was the hands of fate at work. But then, God knows the best. Thank you, sir. No I um I, I want to bother you one more request, please. One more favor. What is it? It's Carol. I I really miss her. I I know she's upset with me at the moment. I I was wondering if you could help me talk to her, please. Uh, Mama Carol. Mama Carol. Kenichi, good evening, my son. How are you? How are your parents? Everybody's good. You're welcome. Nice. Uh, please call Carla. Okay. You see, Kenichi, this world is a small place. Nothing is neither too big nor too small. Take it easy, eh? No, here she is. Can I see you for a minute? All right. Listen, I am. Um, I'm sorry. 
sorry. I don't know. I just made some wrong judgments. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I mean, you don't have to apologize. It was not your fault after all. I have accepted it as my fate. Look, but don't talk like that. If it means spend the rest of my life, I'll make it up to you. I promise. 